He's a great leader. He's fair. As you may know by now, when you attack him, he will punch back 10 times harder. Melania Trump on the campaign trail stumping for her husband in what some people in retrospect say was an attempt to win over women voters following some missteps made by the Republican frontrunner, including this one, a meme less than courteous to Heidi Cruz, something the Donald later admitted was a reaction to an anti-Trump super PAC's usage of a nude picture of Melania. Let's talk about that now with the president of Mayor Strategies, Liz Mayer, also the founder of the Make America Awesome PAC. That's the anti-Trump super PAC responsible for putting uh, that meme of Melania Trump in the all together together. Liz, it's good to have you here tonight on Newsmax Prime. We all know that politics ain't beanbag. Uh, you've been right. quoted elsewhere as saying that 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 picture of Melania without clothing uh, worked pretty well uh, against Trump. Why? Well, I think there are a couple of reasons why. First of all, with the target voters that we were aiming to reach with that ad, uh, which really was more women between 45 and 65 who are fairly conservative, who live in Utah and Arizona, I don't think the issue for them was so much the nudity as it was the presence of the handcuffs. They didn't like that. And then when we're looking beyond that at the larger effect that the ad had, it's pretty evident when I go through and I read in the hate mail that I've got from various Trump supporters, in addition to them hating on me in the hate mail, they also have a lot of stuff in there indicating that they really do think that there was something wrong with her posing for that picture in the first place, something that was really immoral and sinful. And that's not personally my view, and I don't think it's the view of the people we originally targeted the ad to, but I think it does explain why when Donald Donald Trump went out and spent about two weeks talking about this ad after it ran, it really drove his numbers down and caused him problems. I think that in addition to how he responded by posting that picture of Heidi Cruz really just showed a lot of people that there was a lot of bad going on here and maybe things that they didn't really want to vote for. So I think it's been interesting to see the effect of it. You know, I think it's also interesting to note that Donald Trump didn't like this being invoked in the political realm, but where the shot originally came from was a GQ UK photo spread that Donald Trump actually procured when he was originally running for president back in 2000. He thought having those photos taken would actually help his presidential bid the first time that he ran. So I do think it's interesting to see how that's really playing in the Republican primary and how that seems to be working out worse with his own voters even than the ones that we targeted. Well, let me, let me ask you something in addition to the atmospherics of the campaign. Obviously, your super PAC is not in favor of Donald Trump. Uh, right. Does does your super PAC also oppose his views on building a wall and on immigration? I think that uh, we we all collectively have different views to him on immigration. Um, my personal view with regard to securing the border is, I, I think John Cornyn put it pretty well today in a clip that I read from The Hill. I'm not really sure that if we're talking about securing the border, it's really adequate to just throw up a wall. Like, people can get over a wall, people can drill through a wall. Uh, there are many ways to deal with a wall. Yeah, but a wall takes some time to get through. I mean, let's face it, we're old pros at politics, and we know the poll-tested line is, quote, we must secure the border. And nobody's well, done it. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking, well, do, do you have a problem with Trump working to secure the border? 30 seconds. Uh, I don't have a problem with people generally working to secure the border, but I don't believe that what Donald Trump is proposing, A, will ever happen, or B, would secure the border if it did happen. And I think it's interesting that only 38% of people want that wall now that they've seen Donald Trump out there talking about it. Support for the wall has actually declined as Donald Trump has advocated for it. So if his concern is securing the border, actually, he probably should shut up at this point. That would probably be more constructive. Hmm, interesting advice from Liz Mayer in charge of the uh, the super PAC that ran such an effective campaign against Donald Trump. Liz, we thank you for your time and your comments. You heard what Liz had to say. What do you think? Why don't you send me your comments? You can send them to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. And there is more to come right after this.